morning. We're at the common area at the knock. This is our kitchen. And we're all getting ready for the battle of the morning. The day looks good. Um, we have a mound under the scent around 3,000 vertical feet. We had a wonderful zero day at the Natahala Outdoor Center. It was a great place. They have quite the facility there. Zip lining, uh, white water rafting and kayaking and canoeing, uh, full outdoor store. Uh, they had a, a grocery store so we could resupply. And we spent two nights in one of their cabins. Uh, <laughs> wasn't luxurious. All it had was, all it had was um, four bunks and electricity. Oh yeah, we had heat too. But we also took the time to do some chores, uh, fix some gear, and now we're back on the trail with a smile. <sighs> this is one mean hill. It's the highest one we've had to ascend at this point. And it goes on and on. I'm almost at the peak now, and it's cold. It uh, froze up here overnight. In fact, there's ice crystals all along the trail, and it's crunchy underfoot. Probably only got another 100 feet and at the peak. While I'm at the peak, it's beautiful, it's much warmer, and we're sheltered from the wind. Guess it was worth it. There's a rumor going up and down the trail that there is some trail magic about an hour away and it's hot dogs. So there's three of us now motoring to try to get to the hot dogs. The problem is, apparently, they shut down at two. So we don't know if we're gonna make it. It's about 15 minutes to two. We've heard that the trail magic only serves until two. And we're thinking we've got about 15 minutes left on this mountain to get to uh, where the trail magic is. So we're just honking. We're walking pretty fast. There it is. Trail magic awaiting. Yeah, baby. I think we made it. So this is what we ran for. Hot dogs. There were only three left. All right, this is Tennessee Trail doing trail magic right here at Sacoa Gap. North Carolina. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. Glad we're here to serve. <laughs> trail magic, trail magic, trail magic. We made it. It's a wonderful thing out here. It perks up the spirits. And they make you feel like a king or a queen. It's wonderful. So we've been staying shelter to shelter. And the shelters themselves are all quite different and quite beautiful in their own way. Particularly when we get into the Smokies, the shelters are often stone buildings from field stone, kind of a uh, mason kind of thing going on. So they're all very unique and all beautiful in their own way. That being said, we haven't been staying in the shelters. All of us in our group prefer to pitch our tent and enjoy our own little personal sanctuary in our, in our tents. That works for us. Today's possibly the last morning we're going to have to wake up with freezing temperatures. The long-term forecast looks very positive. From this point forward, going north, we will have no more freezing temperatures. Cross our fingers. So we're resupplying at the Fontana Marina. And it's pretty darn good in here. Looks like they have everything we need. Here's our foods, and it's working good, including my Jiffy. The and here's the two prettiest guys at the marina. That's right. With a smile and good service. <laughs> and there was a place to lounge up back with other fellow through hikers and enjoy the moment and even share a beer. The Fontana Shelter is like none other. They have tons of really good campsites. The shelter itself is maybe the best I've ever seen. 
there's actually electrical outlets there's a shower flush toilets and filled with good people and good company this is the cabin itself it is unbelievably awesome and some awesome people here too It's a glorious morning. The band is back together, starting first thing, and we're heading towards Fontana Dam. It looks pretty freaking awesome. And on the other side is the Smokies. The Smokies are waiting for us. Hey, Chill, what do you think? This is pretty insane, but absolutely beautiful. Can't beat this. Smokies National Park is one of the few places on the uh, Appalachian Trail that requires a permit. So you have to go online, pay for it, print it out, and then insert it at the box as you enter the park. Funny thing about the Appalachian Trail, somebody calculated that if we finish it from end to end, the elevation gain is equivalent to hiking Mount Everest 16 times. Well, yeah. I've given up looking at the topo map on my 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 phone. So the general forecast from this point forward is north with lots of ups and downs. Another nice early start in the, on the Appalachian Trail. And with that comes a beautiful sunrise. The early bird gets the worm, or in our case, the beautiful sunrise. Good morning. We're starting our ascent. I should say I'm starting the ascent to Klingman's Dome, the highest point in the Appalachian Trail some 6,600 feet. We're starting at about 5,400 feet at the shelter, which is still pretty high. So it's not the highest ascent, but it's pretty cool because the ecosystem is quite different here. Okay, we made a wrong turn and we started to go down a descent. We were down a fair bit until we heard from way behind us a voice and it was chill saying, you're going the wrong way. Thank God for chill. None of us bothered to look at our maps. <sighs> anyway, back up another hill. So this is the sign, Klingman's Dome pointing that way. So we went that way. We were wrong. Apparently that's where we're supposed to go. Yuck made the rest of the ascent to Klingman's Dome and there was a tower there. It was wonderful. It was quite space age. Uh, when we got to the top, the one thing we did notice, why this is called the Smoky Mountains, it's because of all the haze, all about. And we had a bit of that and a bit of sun. So it was a beautiful view up there for us. The bonus, is we are now at 200 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Yay. We'll take that. We're all feeling good. I know that uh, Chill is feeling a little hungry. He can't get enough food. But beyond that, we're doing good. Hi, I'm Scott. Joel, Rick, Wes, Great Smoky Mountains. Here we are at the state line. I'm now in North Carolina. I'm now in Tennessee. Now in North Carolina. I'm now in Tennessee. After the trail magic, we had lots of ups and more ups and lots of ups. It's been generally a pretty tiring day. But there is a bonus. I have a new hiking buddy with me today, and that is Canoe from Boston. Rather enjoy his company. After the ups, we ended up getting onto some beautiful ridges, super narrow ridges, almost like a razor's edge. And if you look to the left and the right, you get some beautiful views 
of the Great Smoky Mountains. Smokies National Park has been wonderful. The last few days we've been on ridges with lots of ups to get to the ridges and the weather's been quite good. We rather enjoy the ridges because you look to the left, you look to the right and you see some beautiful stuff. The Smoky Mountains certainly uh, live up to their name. Every morning we woke up and the hills were covered with a mist or the smoke they call it. And then by midday or early in the morning actually, it cleared up and we were having beautiful weather. The Smokies was an awesome experience for us. We have now, we are now leaving the Great Smokies and we're heading towards Standing Bear Hostel. Standing Bear Hostel is one strange place. In some ways, it's marvelous. And in some ways, it's pretty lowbrow. But in all in all, it was charming. And they had a delicious meal for us when we got there. And uh, all in all, rather liked it. So, we're out of that, and we're on the way to Hot Springs. Max Patch was beautiful. I can see why so many AT hikers of the past like to camp up there, but uh, because of uh, the overuse, um, the park services has shut it down for a couple years to, to allow for revegetation. So we're allowed to hike through it, but we just can't go off trail. So that's where we came from, right around there. All that fancy stuff to where we're at now. This is the last day before we get into hot springs and it's been raining all day. We're a tad wet, but it's pretty good timing heading into the town for a zero. We get to dry off, wash our clothes, scrub our body clean, and get ready for the next leg of the adventure. <laughs> 